Okay, guys, I'm start recording this. Okay, so now uh, I will explain again this full wave rectification. Okay. Okay, guys, now when you look at this one, guys, okay. So you can see this center tap transformer. It is tapped at the center. And so you can see these uh, two channels. Okay, we have two diodes, then we connect them uh, eventually. Uh, so then this is the output wave form that you see important thing guys okay now uh, you can see each time we can see we have two diode applies on this current flow okay because of that this drop at a given time we have one drop right so for the second half we have the second uh, diode drop likewise we have each time we have one diode drop drop because of that what will be the output voltage it will be p out that should be equal <clears throat> vp vp secondary you guys agree with this sorry guys so this one should be divided by two reason so if you look at this one side it is half of the uh, secondary voltage right okay you will agree with this okay cool now guys uh, what will be the uh, rating of this uh, piv rating of this one i'm just trying to recall it okay guys uh, tell me like uh, now we know uh, this voltage okay this this one okay think about uh, like this is a reverse bias situation that means consider about like you are looking at this half okay when you have this half like uh, so this d2 diode is conducting d1 is not conducting it is reverse biased now what will be the voltage at this point guys what will be the voltage at this point? What will be the voltage at this point when it is not conducting? You guys agree with that? When it is not conducting, we have this half, okay? The voltage is negative VP secondary divided by two. Guys, you all agree? Guys, can I have some responses? Uh, whether you can understand it? Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. Guys, you can interact with messaging. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now, when you want to find the difference, I need to PIV rating should be equal P out. That means this figure here minus that input side voltage. PP secondary divided by two. Okay, you guys agree with me? Now this mean uh, when I substitute V out here, so what I'm getting guys uh, VP secondary divide by 2 minus 0 0.7 plus EP secondary divide by 2 because guys here 
you can see these guys like minus to minus that make that become plus right so that is how you get this one eventually you will get piv that is equal vp secondary minus 0 0.7 Okay, you guys agree with this? PP secondary, when you simplify this one, you will get PP secondary minus 0 0.7. In other terms, guys, you can write the same thing as this way, PIV is in terms of VP out. Okay, because from this one, you can say When you rearrange this one, you can say Whether you guys agree with me? <coughs> when you rearrange this one, guys, when you make the secondary is the subject of the equation, you can say 2v out plus 1.4. You guys agree? So then when I substitute this term to this one, so then I get this equation. Tell me whether you guys can understand this uh, equation. Uh, Daniel, uh, you have a question like why V out is minus, right? Uh, mm, where it is, Daniel? Which V out is uh, minus? Uh, you mean this one? Uh, this one? Ah, yeah. So you mean like uh, you're asking? Ah, yeah. So why we subtract it somewhere here? That should be your question, right? Yeah, okay, reason, because what, what we mean by voltage, uh, voltage mean potential difference, right? When I want to find voltage between these two terminal, I need to subtract one from other to take the difference. Got it? We have one voltage at this point, okay? We have one voltage at this point. We have one voltage at this point. So then I need to take the difference to find, okay, that is why I did that. Clear?
Is that okay, Daniel? Okay, cool. Guys, you all uh, in touch with us, uh, or maybe just uh, 